Hello, I'm Dr. Joffrey, board certified emergency medicine physician, the doctor who treats you and your family in the ER. In this video, you will learn the six supplements and tips for prevention and increasing your immunity as it relates to the flu, SARS CoV 2, rhinoviruses, or the typical coronaviruses. We are entering into a difficult period of time, the fall and the winter season. And the models are showing this is going to be a difficult, dismal, and perhaps deadly season for us. We are all aware that SARS-CoV-2 is still alive and active, but we also have the flu. We also have RSV. We also have the rhinoviruses and the most common cold causing viruses, the nine SARS coronaviruses. And there's a great deal of information, a great deal of research that we have as it relates to how to deal with these viruses, ways to prevent them and ways to help increase our immunity. I didn't say boost. There's no such thing as boosting your immunity, but you can definitely make sure that you've, you're increasing your immunity to its maximum level possible. Most of the data that we know about vitamins, it really comes as it relates to studying vitamins, and how they impact the cold and the flu, RSV, and slowly we're getting more information as it relates to SARS-CoV-2. Now there's one vitamin that stands out above none. That's vitamin D. Yes, vitamin D. Vitamin D has been shown clinically and scientifically proven to be helpful, safe, and effective against most respiratory viruses, including SARS-CoV-2. The current recommendation is about 4,000 units per day. However, if you are a darker pigmented person, you will more, you will more than likely need more than 4,000 units per day. I highly recommend that you um, follow up with your primary care doctor. However, in the shade study in India, um, uh, and often uh, many Indians are darker skinned people, um, in this study, it, it, it gave its participants 50,000 units per day for seven days straight and then cut it back down to regular maintenance dose. I'm not recommending that to you, but I highly recommend you follow up with your primary care doctor. Vitamin D saves lives. The next one would, would be zinc. 30 to 50 milligrams of elemental zinc every day. It's been shown to decrease the risk of infection. It um, increased amounts of zinc, decreases viral replication. And zinc has been proven to be very helpful against many respiratory uh, viruses. Zinc is not recommended for long-term use. Um, it's recommended that you use it when there's a lot of active virus in your in your community, but you definitely don't want to use it more than, say, six to seven months. The next one that I would recommend, there are not a lot of randomized controlled studies, um, but elderberry has been shown to uh, provide antiviral effects, helps to activate the immune system. It's known to also decrease inflammation. Elderberry is a berry that you want to consume in the pill form or in the elderberry syrup form. Next one will be echinacea. Again, for this one, there are not a lot of clinical controlled trials. However, what we do have is a, is a perspective from, from history. The Indians um, use this regularly to help control pain. It was an anti-inflammatory. It was antiviral. It helps decrease respiratory symptoms. In fact, in one study, it showed that people who were taking regular amounts of echinacea, um, the likelihood of them catching a cold was decreased by 58%. Again, those people regularly taking, taking echinacea, the likelihood of catching a cold was decreased by 58%. And there's a small study even show that it may have some benefits as it relates to um, decreasing um, anxiety and depression. And then finally, sleep. Several studies have shown that at least seven hours a day, that's the threshold, at least seven hours a day helps you maintain a more robust 
immune system, a more robust immune system. If you take it a step further, those first three to four hours of sleep where you get that slow realm sleep, it's the most important section. Let me summarize. Your vitamin supplement uh, prevention should probably include vitamin D, vitamin C, zinc, elderberry, echinacea, and a little sleep. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video.